is a 50% correction on the cards for VeChain. Let's discuss it in today's video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. I of course am JB. Today we're here to talk all things VeChain. Take a look at the price action across the one hour, the one day and the one week timeframes. Have a look what's happened, what's likely to happen next, all the usual good stuff. But before we get into that video for today guys, you can see that like button, you can see that subscribe button and the bell. Please tap on all three. Selecting them it obviously really helps the channel out, helps you know when these videos come available to you and of course liking it, you know, it helps get these videos out to as many like-minded people in this space as possible we really do appreciate it when you guys do that so go ahead and tap on all three today but let's jump down into this one and take a look at vchain paired up with usdt binance is the data source for this one hour time frame so it's been yeah it's probably been about a week since i last covered um, vchain here on the main channel so what are, have, what are we looking at on the screen? Let's talk about it. Previously, we obviously looked at that five wave move to the upside and we were looking for this correction down to 2.1 with a possible low of 1.9 cent for VeChain. Where we can see down here on the 28th of November, we've seen the price drop down to 2.07 cent. Fantastic. Now, from here, we have seen quite a healthy push to the upside and we have obviously pushed up to as high as 2.33 cent. So what does this mean for its price action? Well, yet um, to be seen, we have not broke that previous high of 2.374 cent and we have not broke since the low of 2.078 cent. So we need to work out really what is going on here. To do so, let's zoom out a little bit and really take a note of what the structures have played out here for VeChain. We obviously looked at this whole move to the upside as this W, X, Y, X and Z structure. Internally to the Z wave, obviously we were targeting out this one to hit 2.2 to as high as 2.5 cent. So we have to know the inside of the Z wave. Let's just quickly draw this one up on the chart here, on the screen here, so you guys understand what it is we're talking about. Each of these waves must be corrective waves. Now, in this Z wave here, we can see we have a five wave move. So within this Z wave, we do have a five wave structure playing out like so. Now, with that five wave move being there, it obviously cannot be in isolation. It cannot be by itself. And we obviously have a five wave move leading into this beforehand which we can see happening right on down here. So what we have to look at this here, guys, is an A, B and C structure containing five waves in each. So inside of this Z wave here, we have a potential five wave move going on in here. This is just quickly mapped out. And this overall will be an A, B and C structure. What I'm trying to explain to you guys here is that this Z wave that we're looking at as this 535 ABC structure is technically complete where the move sits with this um, high over here, if I could grab this one correctly, of 2.374 cent. So we can see on the chart here, we do not have a requirement to go any higher. We could see this price still go higher, but as it lies, we do not have a requirement to go any higher from this. Should we see this one go higher? Well, we would be looking for um, quite a sizable push to the upside. We've already charted this one on the daily. We spoke about this the last time we looked at VeChain, but let's just draw this one onto here so we know exactly what it is that we are looking at on this hourly chart. We could be potentially looking at the price pushing up even higher to 2.569, very nice, um, to as high as 2.701 cent. This is still the outside possibility. I am not ruling it out just yet. When we look at the likes of Bitcoin hitting a new yearly high, um, I do still think there's a bit more in the tank for Bitcoin to push on just yet, where we could potentially see this one, you know, really push on quite some way yet for VeChain. Is it likely to happen? I think, you know, it's it's going to be a big ask to get VeChain up to there. Looking at the position of the stochastic, the eight hour, the daily, the weekly, all heavily overbought looking for that correction. Smart money concepts though, um, especially here on the hourly chart, we'll obviously go over all time frames. We do have a strong low, not expected to be broken. We do have a weak high here at 2.3 cent, expected it to be broke. And of course, we can see the price currently coming down to test out equilibrium, finding a bit of support here. We are still trading higher than that 200 EMA in white. 
Granted, we are trading lower than the 50 EMA in red and the 50 SMA in green. I'm not overly concerned. Everything is lined up in the correct way. We are seeing this potentially as a bit of a retracement before we do see that move continue on to the upside here. So overall, the market is quite undecided here. We could go either way. We need to see a clean break of some certain areas. First of all, a clean break um, of the first trend line here at 2.333 cents breaking higher than that previous high would obviously tell us that we are in the continuation to the upside i think this may be the case guys secondly we will look for the next break of that previous high of that fifth wave at 2.374 will give us an indication that we could be heading up towards 2.5 to 2.7 cent however the bearish sign should we see that price break lower than 2.078 cent well unfortunately I think that the top is in for this push to the upside at 2.374%. As things sit just now, my feelings, everything that's kind of playing out here, is we have further to go still. With Bitcoin looking like it still has some more in the tank, VeChain as well, I do think it still has some more in the tank. However, we have a couple of interesting things playing out here. As Festoon covered off down in Discord, um, for our members, we do have a potential five wave move to the downside here in this B wave where we cannot have a five wave move. However, we could also be looking at this through two different lenses that that five wave move is in fact nested. And all we have simply done here is completed this B wave between that one to one to the 1.236, where we would typically tend to see that price come down to. And in this B wave, we've actually completed a very successful move here. So what we'll do is leave this one on the charts because this is the one I think is the most probable play that we have completed this A, B and C structure and we are on that next push to the upside. Now we have to remember though, we do not have to see the price push up to 2.569 we do not have to see 2.7 cent our minimum expectation for this c wave move if we could drag this one back in would simply be 2.374 a double top scenario where we would see that previous a wave high touched on that is all we have to do for this next move to the upside. Now, of course, I do think we have further to go there. We could look for some previous areas of support and resistance, which we will do on that daily time frame. But it's to give you an idea as to what's kind of playing out here on the hourly. So the moves playing up to this, what we will do is do a couple of checks on here and we will take that 100% move to the upside we have seen so far, bring it down to its next point of correction down here at 2.137. Is that correct? 2.115. Um, where we can see we have technically hit the impulsive level at 2.305%, telling us that we actually may just be in a wave 4 here or a B wave. Now, what that may look like is a wave 1, wave 2. This here would have to be the wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5. This looks like the likely move that is actually playing out here. We would have to drop down to the 5 minute time frame for confirmation, but time is of the essence for this video for today. We'll maybe do a more description, descriptive breakdown for our members in Discord. From here, if this is the likely play, we will obviously look for that retracement down to around about the 50% level. Uh, coming at 2.202 cent, where we could see that um, 200 EMA here tested out, currently sitting around about 2.197, does look to be the next likely move here. So from that breakdown to that 200 EMA, we would then expect the next push to the upside, testing out these levels, in particular that 2.374 cent. So that is the view I have here for VeChain on the one hour chart. I urge you to be very cautious. Of course, today is the weekly close position. There is, it's going to be a very volatile one indeed. We obviously seen Friday, be, uh, Saturday, sorry, being very volatile where it uh, typically is not very volatile. So this weekend feels like one like no other or one that we have not had for quite a long time. So be very careful if you are trading um, this week in particular, this weekly close is going to be a very spicy one, which we will touch on in today's video. Back to the charts and it's Binance's daily chart now. Where we can see we are obviously talking about that potential A, B and C structure, 2.569 to 2.701. I do think we still have that possible move to go there. So obviously we do have to see that 2.374 level breached, minimum expectation for that C wave. So of course in that Z wave we have came up, we have entered into its typical areas and also this bigger C wave structure. We are kind of finding resistance, although we have entered into its target area. So we can see on this daily chart we are starting to enter into the you know, the end of this move to the upside. We are meeting so many targets, so many required levels on this push up. We do still have this fair value gap sitting 
um, from all the way back in April 2023 between 2.471 and 2.577 I think is a very interesting level for that price to come up and hit it would fill out this Z wave target area it would fill out this C wave target area and it would obviously fill into the lower end of the blue C wave target area so I am keeping my eyes on 2.471 to 2.577 for VeChain on this daily chart I think if we could see that price push up there it's obviously a fantastic um, effort to get the price up to 2.57 cent well from there I think we could be looking at a bit of a correction to come for VeChain so on the weekly chart here we can see that we are testing some very interesting levels. We've been talking about for this for quite some time. This test of 2.577, we have left this trend line on the charts, guys. I do think that is, you know, quite an interesting level to come up and hit. We are inside of a an internal sell order block here. Obviously, this goes up as high as 2.660 cent. I think from here, we could see that healthy correction to the downside. Maybe not quite testing out the 200 EMA as we previously anticipated. You can see we have been testing out that 50 EMA. This week we are currently sitting higher than the 50 EMA here. The price of the EMA sitting at 22.04 cent. The current price sitting at 22.37. A close above here of course will be bullish. But looking at that stochastic position it has now been oversold for roughly four weeks. This will be its fifth week of over eh, overbought. Sorry continuation of this only spells one thing a pullback in the markets i do think that pullback is only a matter of time away now this pullback in particular for v chain under its current structures could be quite catastrophic for some could be fantastic for others in my opinion this is lining up to be a fantastic pullback we have been talking about this for quite some time looking at v chain coming down to around about that one cent level we could see this being a 53 percent pullback which I think it's extraordinary. You guys will know I've been targeting out sub one cent VeChain for such a long time now, looking at nine, uh, 0 0.998 of a cent. We could see that pullback over 50% absolutely fantastic opportunity to be accumulating your um, position in VeChain. This would meet the C wave target area. This would meet this bigger Z wave target area that we have watched for such a long time throughout this bear market. I do think this will be the last opportunity to, yeah, to really be picking up VeChain at such a fantastic um, price, such a fantastic level. The position we could have in VeChain could really be life changing. I will leave that one there for today though guys. Please do give me all your thoughts, your opinions on all things VeChain, everything I did discuss in today's video. Of course, please do remember everything I did discuss is of course my thoughts, my opinions, the way I look at the markets. Do with it as you like. Do not take it as financial advice because it simply is not. But my feeling is this is the last major pullback on the horizon we are likely to see for VeChain. I don't think we'll ever see the prices down this low. This is a life-changing opportunity. This is what we are all about here at Cheeky Crypto, finding these life-changing um, opportunities. This is one of them, in my opinion. But let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Before you do leave today, guys, as always, please do like, subscribe, tap on the bell. All the usual good stuff. We appreciate it when you do that for us. It is the weekend. I do hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. What is left of it. If you are going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make some great gains. Stay safe in this space. And until next time, have a very nice day.